Straight Fly has been a part of impossible levels since Ice Carbon Diablo X, but they've gotten a bit tighter than one block since then. So today, I'm going to be going over the most useful Straight Fly gaps for both big and mini ship. Starting with the pretty standard plus four, it's just taking both of the spikes on the top and bottom and moving them in one, two, three, four spaces. However, this can be made a bit harder by taking each of these and then moving them in one small space. And as there is already a gap centered on one block, it's now time to talk about the gap centered on two. This is also another pretty standard gap, but this can be made even more difficult by taking each of these spikes and pushing them in one small space. And this is the last gap for the big ship. This is all on grid right now, but you just have to take either one of these spikes and move them out one small space. This is a gap that's commonly used in Cyclo Psych, however, it's actually a bit more spaced out than it needs to be, so if I move that back in, it only needs to be moved out one mini space. There is also apparently some alignments that can do this without moving it out at all, but I haven't gotten that to work consistently, so moving it out by one mini space is what I'd recommend. And starting with mini ship, we have the average plus seven. And comparing this to the sideways spike gap, it is conveniently one small space bigger on each spike. These are currently just half spaced. If I move both of these in one small space, it lines up perfectly. However, a plus seven, just like that one gap from Cyclopsych, is a bit more spread out than it needs to be. In fact, now that I've put this back on grid, you only need to move it up one mini space, and then the hitbox fits through that. And lastly, there is the gap using these ground spikes. They're commonly used alongside these rotated spikes, even though the spike hitbox isn't as far up as the ground spike hitbox, so it doesn't do much. However, if you move these both in one, then it is more difficult. The case that these are most used in, or the case that I use them most for, is on single speed and putting orbs in them every couple of blocks or so that you can't hit. In fact, I do think that this gap works as well if you take each of these and move it in one mini space. This is the last gap for the mini ship, and one of these can be moved in by three. Similar to that other Cyclol site gap, I think it works as a plus four, but I haven't gotten that working consistently, and I think it would be not sustainable below 15 CPS. And those are all of the useful gaps involving spikes. I did leave out a couple of ones that use jank hitboxes, but that's because most of them are just beaten by other gaps that I've mentioned in this video already. There is still one gap I'm going to talk about, which is the one from the start of the video. This is the Emesis gap, and is created through a very long chain of moving things. First, move it up half a block, then move it up three small steps, and then move it out one mini step. And this, throughout all my testing, is the hardest gap for normal gravity ship single player that is sustainable under 15 CPS. And with that, I believe I have gone over every useful straight fly gap. Thank you for watching.